On election night last November, the outcome was wildly celebrated by Somalis living here in Minneapolis. 70,000 strong, mostly refugees from their war-torn country, the largest Somali community in the U.S. But the evening was noteworthy for something else. That night, the latest in a line of young Somalis who grew up here departed unannounced for Somalia itself. Joining a civil war in a country few had ever seen and causing concern in this country. Hussein Samatar's 17-year-old nephew left. He was an A student and he has everything to hope for to attend any Ivy League student school that he wanted to. Why would he do it? Uh, is mystery to us. Some 20 vanished last year, all American citizens, an exodus the FBI has noticed for a troubling reason. A man from Minneapolis became what we believe to be the first U.S. citizen to carry out a terrorist suicide bombing. The October attack by 27-year-old Shirwa Ahmed killed 30 near Mogadishu, and there is alarm that the skills acquired abroad could be brought back to America. We could have done it here. We, we don't see anything that would have prevented him from doing that right here in the heart of Minneapolis. The missing men all came from one local mosque. But officials at the mosque here in Minneapolis deny that they play any role in turning young people into radicals. At an open house, they tried to answer critics and confront recent harassment. You don't belong here, God terrorist. We absolutely deny that uh, such thing happened in this mosque. But Somalis here are deeply troubled. Who's behind this exodus? Who's paying for it? And who may be the next to go? Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Minneapolis.